Hey everyone, Mr. Sugiano here, your source for gaming, tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, this is going to be a very quick video. My flight home was delayed. I am flat out exhausted. It's been quite a long day. There is something I wanted to talk about though, and that's CD Romance. For those of you using CD Romance, you may have noticed that the links on this site no longer work. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with CD Romance, it's a very similar website to romhacking.net. It hosts fan translations, ROM hacks, and even more. Where romhacking.net just hosts the patches, CD Romance usually hosted the patched ROMs. However, if I look at CDRomance.com and click on a game and scroll down here, it says this site doesn't host any files. And the previous files that were clickable are no longer clickable. There were a lot of people wondering what's going on here. A lot of people were guessing that the same thing that happened to MU Paradise is happening to CD Romance. And the CD Romance team got together and posted an FAQ on their Discord. And the main question here is what happened to CD Romance? So they say the ESA, which stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Entertainment Software Association, filed a whole lot of claims against a whole lot of sites, which included CD Romance. Spike thus got his AdSense revoked, and CD Romance is currently being inspected by Google. If they find anything wrong with the site, it gets delisted from Google, which would mean no ad site ever would work with them. Thus, CD Romance wouldn't afford to be able to stay up. This countermeasure is in place to show Google that this site is A-OK. -okay. If all goes well, nothing further will happen and Spike will find another ad service to keep the site up. And the second question asks if things are going to go back to the way they were, basically with clickable links. And the short answer here is no. Spike has said that this is probably going to be how it works moving forward, as it's safer and he doesn't want a repeat of what has happened with other sites. Now, although the links are no longer directly accessible from the CDRomance.com website, there are a lot of reports out there about them being accessible through CDRomance.org. So on CDRomance.com, I can see a CDR ticket. And if we head on over to CDRomance.org, I can see it asking for a CDR ticket. Now I do want to point out something here. There's a big difference between patching a ROM for a game you already own versus downloading a pre-patched ROM from the internet. The latter is considered piracy in a lot of cases. I don't support nor condone piracy. So it goes without saying I don't recommend using this method because it's obviously what got CD Romance in hot water in the first place. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. The ESA coming after CD Romance was some pretty big news, and CD Romance's response to ESA is also some pretty big news. Let me know your thoughts about this news in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.